Hello folks, welcome. Zorn OS 17.2 Core, the non-pro version. I'm filming in 1080. Please adjust your YouTube player accordingly if necessary. So this video is made for new users. I'm going to talk about some, uh, well, basics. I've talked about basics before, but you know what? Anytime we have a new um, version of something, uh, people don't like to watch the old stuff. So I need to rehash a lot of things. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to change the background to something well different. I have some in here, but I don't like those. So I'm going to open up my file manager and change it to this one. All right, replace. The dude's looking in his computer. Wallpaperswide.com is where I got this. So I'm going to talk about some basic stuff. The uh, keyboard that I'm using today is called a Logitech M keys. Uh, one of the examples here is uh, you can see the top over here where I'm pointing with my yellow mouse pointer. It says one, two, three. That means I can operate three devices or three computers with this keyboard. And we have lots of different types of keyboards out there. So down here, you will see the control key and what looks to be like a start key with an OPT with a symbol on it and an alt key, also known as command key with a symbol on it. Uh, that kind of key, um, well, Apple uses. The key in question that I have is called a start key, sometimes known as a meta key or Windows key. So I'm going to do some magic with that. And the only reason I brought this up is not to tell you what kind of keyboard I was using, just in case you have a different symbol for that key. I'm going to press that quote start key in F1. Zorin OS desktop menu guide. So again, this is a video made for brand new users. You will have a visual overview of GNOME, your logout and power, and so forth and so on. All of these are clickable with sublinks that go all over the place. That's just one item. If I open up the file manager, also known as just plain old files, but this uh, file manager for Zorin 17.2 is also known by a different name. It's also called Nautilus. Okay, so sometimes when I make videos talking about using Nautilus in root mode, that's one of the reasons. Because again, when you look at this, it says files. All right, some basic concepts in here. What kind of computer are you using? First of all, you saw my keyboard. However, I, I didn't show you my computer mouse. My computer mouse is uh, also a Logic Tech and it's called MX Master 3S. Not a big deal though. It has three channels on it. And what I can do with that mouse, just like you can with any standard computer mouse, is uh, hold down the control key on my keyboard and then use the scroll wheel to scroll back and forth to resize icons. That was my first tip on just resizing things. Clicking on the pictures part, we got dinky, we got large. Then we can, quote, change the wallpaper if we want or go back to this one. All right, we have lots of little tips. Did you know you had extra files in here too? Probably not, As, especially if you're just coming from the Microsoft world and you're still trying to learn Linux. A and again, welcome. I, I usually try to make it comfortable for most users and I try not to overwhelm you with technical jargons, and that's actually in my About section. I try to make things simple. So I'm going to use Control H to show you those extra stuff, hidden stuff. They begin with a dot or a period. This thing here called dot icons, I created this folder manually. And I deposit, well, not only this mouse pointer, but others. Mouse cursor is also what this yellow thing is known as. This is called radioactive, if you're curious. I do have lots of videos on my YouTube site how to install these. And you may not know this, but uh, Linux 
uh, only installs their mouse cursors really uh, only in two locations. The period or dot icons and the other folder is US or share icons. And that folder is located here. And I will scroll down to USR, down to share, and I'll go find the icons folder. Actually, I'll just type in an I. So this folder is actually owned by root. If you're not that familiar with Linux, uh, root is like the top dog. Um, root mode is not what this user is currently logged in as. So that means that I cannot remove anything in this folder. So if I wanted to delete that, the option is not there. I can't cut it. However, I can copy it, but I can't move it, rename it, or even delete it because it's root mode. I, in the past, I used to show how to install mouse cursors in here or even themes. This is where the developers install their stuff for those kind of, well, little things like mouse cursors, for instance. White glass is a mouse cursor that you currently have. So is red glass to give you one example or two. So we do have hidden stuff is what I'm getting at. Control H to turn that off. Hamburger menu, you can actually click that. It doesn't show the shortcut though, which is Control H. The other thing I dislike is this tiny little button. We have the close, we have the minimize, and we have the resizer. So as I pointed that thing, uh, I like to prefer to do it this way. What exactly am I doing? I'm double clicking on a white area close to the top line. Okay, let me show you this on a web browser. I'll pull it down to here so you can see it. Double clicking, double clicking. While I'm in here, I'm, I can also resize the innards of this web page. All I need to do is be below, below this bookmark line. I'll use the mouse pointer over here. Holding down the control key, I'm going to scroll backwards to 30%. Holding down the control key, I'm going to scroll up with my computer mouse scroll wheel to 500%. I believe Chromium and Chrome uh, does actually lower than 30%. It goes to 25, but who cares? Because the fact is you probably can't read that. I certainly can't, and I'm filming in 1080. I have lots of tips on my YouTube site if you haven't discovered my channel yet. Currently a 462 videos. And here is my about section my mission statement, and some links. I started this channel last year. I had a previous channel also that ran for years. So currently I have 462, but on my other channel I had over 450. So yes, I've made over 900 videos in the last several years. I'm all about sharing information. I also have playlists. So if you're just interested in Zorin, then go find Zorin in here. Let's go find it together. It's easy to skip around, but more importantly, you can look at other distributions. I have 32 videos for Zorin. If you want to do it in a different way, instead of going through videos one by one, you can also click the magnifying glass. About two weeks ago, that was broken until I informed YouTube that that was broken for every single developer in the world. They fixed it in two hours. Well, at least I hope they uh, pay attention to some things. However, my latest problem they did not fix, which is losing messages. So if I type in Zorin, it starts finding videos on Zorin. And again, I have, here's the education version if you want to read a little bit about that. Here's uh, 17 beta and so forth and so on. I have all kinds of information. And keep in mind, some things are generic, like how to install this yellow thing called a mouse cursor. They really only get installed in two locations. 
that would be that folder, or USR share icons, just to give you one example. Pulling that down, pushing that up, pulling that down, double click. Same thing as me clicking that itty bitty icon. I don't really care for doing that. Those things are too small for me. But again, at least I have options. And that's what I present on my videos, options, tips, and tricks. Thank you for watching.